buddy. Hello, buddy. two girls. Let's look at the boys real quick. This is Black Collar Boy. And he, he is a wavy coat. He's trying to balance on that block. <laughs> this is that big block that gets sent home. It's not so big once they go home. I'm trying to figure, oh, that's Snowflake's babies. Anyway, the wavy coat is still non-shedding. A lot of people ask me that. The wavy coat is still non-shedding. Are you stuck? Are you stuck on the block? You're good. Then we have, that's the only wavy male, right here, black collar boy. Then we have orange collar boy, <laughs> who has some white on the chest and chin. Yeah, and he's a curly coat. Look at those long ears. And then here's our red collar boy, who is also a curly coat. And he doesn't have any markings. He's just red. And then for the girls, this is our curly coat girl. She is lavender. And yeah, she has a little bit of white on the chest and obviously the face there. And then we have our pink collar girl. She is a wavy. So one wavy girl, one curly girl. And pink color girl is going to be more of a light peanut butter or almost apricot color. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so I believe the first pick of the litter is looking for a curly girl. So I believe that lavender might be chosen first. I believe the final pick of the litter will be a male. I just don't know if it'll be curly. Probably curly. Most likely one of these two. Hey, buddy. Are you going to walk around for us, too? Are you a little on the shy side today? Sarah and Ava were in here holding puppies for me. They do a really good job. But I think they may have tuckered him out just a little bit. No. What do you think? Hi. Hi. Yeah, you guys are very active today, aren't you? What are you gonna say? So everybody in this litter should have received um, some emails, or at least one email, no, two, two emails. You should have received your directions, and then uh, kind of a picking, pickup schedule and what's gonna happen, a little outline. It's part of our welcome letter, and it gives you an outline of what to expect each week and when to expect certain paperwork stuff like that. So if you did not get that, let me know and I'll make sure that you get it. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? Come here. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Come here, look at you. Look at you. Yeah. Yeah, see, they're, when you see them compared to my hand, they're not as big as what they seem on video. I think that's one thing everybody said when they picked up their puppies um, this past weekend is, oh, wow, they're a lot smaller than we thought. We get that a lot. Yeah, you're really talking, aren't you? You are talking. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> 
So uh, next week is our temperament testing. You will not get those results until six weeks. Sometime in the sixth week. I don't know exactly when, but I often get emails saying during five weeks, where is the temperament testing? Just because it was done doesn't mean I have it ready for you. I use those results plus add in some of my own things and then it's not just temperament. I give you estimation on size, let you know about all the coats, texture, color, things like that. So um, you gotta give me just a little bit of time to get all that together for you. And that'll be out in week six. Week seven is our picking. That is done virtually, or if you already know your pick, you can let me know that. And then we'll let everybody know after you. For those that are on the end, the tail end of the picking, it's helpful if we know what you're looking at so that we know what's gonna be at the tail end of the picking. Obviously, if you need to wait until the temperament testing, we get it. But um, picking is done virtually, and then they're ready to go after that. So um, it all kind of happens fast around here, at least fast for me. Yeah, look at we're all talking and we're walking. They are trying to get in their mama's food. They have little, little teeny nubs for teeth, but their teeth aren't in yet. So it's gruel right now, nursing right now. Look at you, you're just, uh, and these long ears. You're just a teddy bear, just a little dumpling. Yeah, are we all tuckered out now? Are we? Hi, see I'm very personable. Yeah, Boston's babies are very sweet. Super sweet babies, aren't you? Look at you going to sleep there. What do we have on our face? I always am picking stuff off there. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah. So I will be sending you some reading material in the next few weeks. And then um, I'll be sending a, a, at the very end, after you pick, then I will give you your um, pick up information, which has uh, attached pedigrees and things like that that you need. And um, shots are given at seven weeks right now instead of six weeks. And then you will get the second set at 10 weeks. But I will give you all of that information. I'll give you all the, the dates that shots um, are going to be due again. So you are going to do their second set of shots and third set of shots. Yeah. <laughs> he's just not going to, he's not going to play for me. He's too tired. But you have energy, don't you? Yes. <laughs> what do you think of that? Those are snowflakes puppies doing crate training. All right, we're starting to, to calm down here, so we'll probably say goodbye until next week. We'll have pictures up in the photo gallery, so you guys can take a look at them close up, just one at a time. <laughs> Look at you. Does that feel better? Yeah. They always scratch at these when we change collars. We change collars every week, and they, or at least make them longer. And they always scratch at them. Okay, guys. We'll see you next week. Can you say bye bye? Can you say bye bye? No. Oh, you're ignoring me. All right then. We'll see you next week.